Yo guys, before we get into today's video, I want to give a massive shout out to Aoa.com for sponsoring this video. Aoa is an awesome multi-platform site where you can buy yourself some cheap keys, crates and items. Use the code EJU for 3% discount and check out. The link will be in the description. Yo, what's going on guys? EJ here, bringing you another Rocket League video, so to say. Uh, today is a cold day in hell, guys. Um, if you haven't heard the news, uh, I'll flip over the screens in a minute and show you and everything. But um, Rocket League, aka Sionix, aka Fortnite, uh, have announced that they're going to be removing crates from Rocket League uh, a bit later on in this year indefinitely. Um, and this is just absolutely insane. Um, like, yeah, I'm actually going to flip over the screens right now and show you guys and just show you what's going on. It's, it, I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm lost for words at the moment. I'm lost for words. Rightio, guys, so we're here right now on, um, friggin' Twitter, so to say. Uh, yeah, so this is what they've uh, tweeted out as of yesterday, guys. Crates leaving Rocket League later this year. Here at Psyonix and Epic Games, well, you might as well just fucking just get, a, get an eraser and just erase Psyonix immediately. Just, you might as well just go like that and just go delete. Actually, you know what you might as well do? You might as well go to inspect and then you find whereabouts that's actually written in here and actually delete it. You might as well literally delete that word. I'll show you how you do it. This is what you should be doing right about now. In this, you might as well be just clicking on that word like that and go to uh, inspect. And then you might as well click on here and go to this word Sionix. You might as well go to edit text and completely just remove it from the actual fucking thing like that. And then you might as well do that. That's better. Let's restart now and read it now. Here at Epic Games, <laughs> oh god, as a whole, we have uh, decided to create the best possible experience for our players all over the world. Well, that's wrong. You don't listen to anyone by the sounds of it. In pursuit of that goal later this year, we will remove all paid slash randomized crates from Rocket League. So, um, what's that detail? That's pretty much every single crate, right? Um... So every crate that you can possibly buy with keys and every randomized crate, so um, randomized, that's every crate that can be dropped correctly. Um, I don't know if this is going to be affecting the event crates yet. Like, you know the event crates how you have to save up like a currency um, and you have to earn it? Like for example, the last crate which I think came out like that might have been something like the Beach Blast crate or something. Where you had to um, collect like seashells, I think it was, you had to collect. But yeah, so um, I don't know whether they're going to be staying in. And the same with like golden eggs and stuff like that. Like, like um, when they have the events and you save up the items and you get golden eggs and that. So I don't know if they're going to be getting removed. Now, the next thing is, um, are they got When they say they're going to be removing crates. Uh, like the people who have crates in their inventory... Uh, like mine, for example, I'll show you a picture of mine now. Boom, as you can see, I've got like over 1,500 PCC crates. Will, will they just get taken away? Like, I've spent um, a lot of hard time and effort collecting all those, spending um, my hard-earned money buying keys and all that kinds of stuff, and what, they're just going to disappear? Or are we still going to be able to open the crates that we already have? Uh, that's a question that needs to be answered. Like... If you can, if they can't, if they cannot remove crates um, from you, will we still be able to open those with keys? Or are they just getting rid of the whole opening experience whatsoever? Because if they're just removing it so um, crates cannot be dropped in that anymore, um, then we should just buy up 10 million crates and then we have crates that open. But by the sounds of it, they said they're just going to be removing all crates. So. I don't know, guys, whether you should just start getting rid of all your crates, selling them immediately, or what. I, I don't know. Or just start opening them as soon as possible. Um, that's all I can really say about that. But yeah, uh, they're basically killing... 
Rocket League. They're killing Rocket League, guys. Um, like, there's still the gameplay aspect, but trust me, gameplay gets boring. Like, I, I, I enjoy playing the game and that, but like, after a while, just the playing, you get, you get bored of it. Trust me, you can't sit there for like 10 hours a day just playing games. Like, this is not just affecting like this opening crates, this is affecting trading a lot because basically um, we rely on people opening the crates and that to get items to fill the market for items to trade with. Who in the who's gonna go buy a black market? Um and then for all we know, it's gonna be like the Fortnite shop, which we all know what it looks like. I'm not even gonna put a picture of that on the screen because like, I hate Fortnite. Um yeah, like when you buy something on Fortnite like that, you don't, you don't, you can't trade that with someone, or you can buy it and gift it to someone else. But uh, how do we know if it's not going to be like the friggin' esports shop, which was pretty trash anyway? Like you buy an item, and you can't even trade it anyway. So they're slowly killing trading. And I thought that um, in the huge update they said that they're going to be improving trading, but really this is destroying trading. You're going to be putting less items on the market to trade with. Obviously, there's still going to be keys, um, but what's the use of keys, really? Like, um, you use the keys to buy the premium pass on, um, on the rocket pass. Yes, that's 10 keys, which the rocket pass is, it becomes so repetitive. The items aren't that good, and like, yeah, I don't really like the rocket pass. I've gotten over it, and the, and the other thing with the rocket pass, the first 70 items are trade locked. If you're going to be doing this, at least unlock the first 70 items, because that's 70 items people can trade with. And yeah, so if all your crates are just going to disappear, you're going to have no longer have them. You're not going to be able to open crates. Now they said they're going to be bringing in like this a thing that they said they're going to be bringing in a system where we're replacing the system that shows the exact items you're buying in advance. This is similar to changes implemented earlier this year by Fortnite Save the World team, which we'll have a look at in a minute. But yeah, um, so Rocket Pass will still be the same, DLC cars and esports will all be the same, nothing's changed in there, but the thing is, um, Rocket Pass, you have to get to level 70 before you can even trade one of those items, you can't trade DLC cars, and you can't trade esports um, shops. So, see what I'm trying to say, this is affecting trading big time, more information to come out in the further months. Now, I'm going to actually go to this right here, guys. So, this is what e Epic Games do, so basically, this is Epic's involvement, like, Sonic, if they were still on their own, would have never done this, I guarantee it. Okay, so, um, so basically, a big change is coming. Um, so basically what they did, they changed their llama system. Well, I used to play Save the World and that, and I don't play it anymore. So, um, so basically, yeah, so now there's going to be like, they've done a system where like, when you buy a llama, there's just going to be a page and it shows you everything you can get. And that makes no sense because like the golden eggs show you everything that you can get. All the crates show you what you possibly can get and the chance you can get. So if it's just a page and it shows you what you can get. It must, you must have to buy the llama and then you get to choose the item or something. I don't know. It's absolutely stupid, but I'm getting back off that immediately because I'm getting ill just looking at it. Actually, we'll flip over to, um, let's flip back over to Rocket League screen, uh, shall we? Right there, guys. So we're back on the Rocket League screen, as you can see. Oh, uh, yeah, so... Uh, what would you do if, say, you were like me, you have all these um, crates here? Uh, like, I was saving up, I was possibly going to go for the world record crate opening, but I'm not. that's not going to be happening anymore. I've got over 1,500 PCC crates. What would you do if you spent so much time and effort collecting all those, and you wake up the next day and they're all gone? Rightio guys, so I've got some more information, um, I had my whole video edited ready to go, but um, so I'm just slotting this in here somewhere, you will see. Um, we've got some information from Reddit, uh, which explains exactly what's going to be happening to crates and keys and that, and literally, um, I'm crying. But yeah, basically, I'm going to read out every, everything you can see on the screen here in front of you guys, um, and it is, I don't know, it's just an absolute mindfuck. So here we go. So, um, yeah, they put out the, the same post as they did on Twitter, and then this is what the actual people from Psyonix, the developers, have said about it. Crates will remain in your inventory until we roll out changes. At that time, any crates you still possess will be replaced with a suitable alternative. 
So, if you got crates, they're going to get changed into something. Into what? I do not know. It could be the new currency, which I'll explain about in a minute. It could be... I don't have... I don't know. I'll try to keep the swearing to a minimum. I'm pissed. Um... Alright, if crates are no longer in the game, what is the use of keys, and will they end up getting removed? Keys will still be sold in, until the crate system goes bye-bye, and then when it goes bye-bye, um, all crates will be removed. There will be no more crates in Rocket League, and it will be changed into a different currency. Any keys that you have will be changed to that currency. They have no idea what currency it's going to be so far. Uh, they say here it's safe to assume that you will not be able to get a guaranteed black market for a key, so there's still going to be sort of a rarity to items and stuff like that. I don't know, this is just going to wreck the trading, the market, I don't know. I, yeah, we need more information, but it's, it's so confusing at the moment. Um, so here they're saying this assumes that new car, car cars are automatically offered for the same to all users, but we do not share details on the replacement system. Uh, if the opportunity to buy the new car came up as a random drop, like receiving a crate and opening it, that drop will still have value. So, um, a car coming as a random drop? I don't know what to make of that. Uh, we can't speak just yet, but making keys or whatever, replacing them untradeable will be very damaging. So, of course, the new currency, which... The, so, it won't be keys. Whatever the new currency will be will still be tradable. So... Items that are still in the game, you've already got, will not be affected in your inventory. So, you'll still be able to trade for them with a new uh, currency. All I can hope is that the new currency, we just, we, it's the same. Say, like, um, White Zomba 60 key, right? The new, so, I want it to be that the new currency is 60 of that currency equals that. Otherwise, it's just going to be it's so confusing. Like, if they put items in the shop... Like a white mainframe for 60 new currency, it remains that. If they put a white mainframe in there for like 10 currency, they're going to destroy everything. You know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, for for example here, for changing keys specifically, we will make Rocket Pass use the same currency as keys. So for example, um, the new currency, 10 keys, whatever that currency will be, will be the same as uh, a Rocket Pass upgrade or whatever. Yeah. Uh, we fully expect items currently obtainable in crates to be obtainable via the new systems we roll out in the future. So everything that's in Rocket League now, you will be able to obtain. But in saying that, will certifications uh, be obtainable? I wonder. Because if they get rid of certifications, I don't even know. I'm not even going to talk about that. Uh, our current plan is to have the same behavior for Rocket Pass funds. Who cares about Rocket Pass? I'm done with that. But yeah, guys, uh, that's just some information I want to put there. Uh, take it as you will, but uh, not only are crates getting removed, keys are getting removed, and they're going to be bringing in a new currency, a shop where you buy shit. Uh, we'll still be able to trade in that, and yeah, all right, that's that. Uh, enjoy the rest of it. I'm done. Um, like, yeah, so um, I need to start either selling these or trading them or opening them as soon as possible before they actually get removed, you know what I mean? Like, it's absolutely crazy. And, like, but, like, like they were saying, guys, like, I don't know whether they're going to be removing crates completely, so you might be able to still open the ones you have. I guess there'll be more further information. We need a lot more information about this. Um, I have started a petition to stop this, which will probably do nothing, but, um, I just, I just need to, I need to do it just to feel like I am doing something. So I'll put a link to that into the description. Make sure you go check it out. But yeah, guys, all your crates could just magically vanish soon later in the year. They could just get removed from the game. Or they could stay and you get to open them still with keys, which I hope. If that's the case, with more information, um, I'm going to be basically... I'll become a crate store where I'll buy like literally like a million crates up and just have like a million crates. So when people need crates, they can come to EJ or something. I don't know. Um... Like, as a YouTuber, it affects me a lot, and it affects a lot of other YouTubers, but there's still other ways you can do content, like, we can still do non-crate, very rare trade-ups and stuff like that. Um, I don't know how this new shop thing is. I don't want to make videos of spending real money uh, buying stuff in the store. But, um, it might not be real money. Maybe you use keys to buy the items, like, for example. But the thing is, like, it... There's going to be no market value to it. So they're going to say, yo, you have to buy this white friggin' mainframe, for example, um, for 100 keys. 
at, th there's no market, there's no haggling, there's nothing can involve. And then, how's it going to work with certifications? How are you telling me that this is going to be a shop with like one trillion items in there, like with every single cert? Like, I'm going to have to buy a striker item? It just doesn't make sense, guys. I don't even know. Like, it's absolutely crazy. Um, yeah, so uh, we need to find out more information, obviously, but. You see what I mean, guys? Like, um, it's affecting Rocket League in so many ways. Like, it's affecting trading big time. It's affecting YouTubers that uh, create content and stuff like that. Um, I, I, yeah, so, I don't know. I guess we need to see later on down the track exactly how it's going to affect us. But uh, I've been rambling on long enough. I'm just starting to repeat myself. I just want to let you guys know uh, what's happening and everything. Um, make sure to sign a petition. Let me know in the comments. Um down below what you think about this do you want to see crates removed do you not um i'll be going through all the comments responding to everyone so please let me know make sure to leave a like on this video as well uh one like equals you do not want to see crates removed from rocket league for sure let me know but anyway guys peace out ej's out thanks for watching uh i will catch us later and yeah uh, i'm just disgusted all right i'll catch us later see you guys bye